Well, hello there. Uh, and welcome to Ultra Maniac Figures, where I do figure unboxings, figure reviews. Oh my gosh, the fell, fan almost fell down. Stuff like that for your entertainment. Um, if you hear a fan in the background, it's because it's like 90 degrees right now. So I need something to cool me off just a tad, just a tad. Oh, it's so hot. Let me turn on a fan real quick. That's much better. Cheers to summer. If you're new here, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe for an oil goodie. Welcome back. Still please like and comment. I, I would like to hear your opinions about today's video. Alright, so this is another um, very cultured unboxing. Alright, so for this video, we have a one-fifth, two one-fourths, and one, I think she's a one-sixth to unbox today. So I'm going to get started with our one-fifth. So this girl is from Q6, which is like my favorite figure brand. And her name is Liliana. She's an original character um, from Q6 Mouse Unit. And this is her white variation. Let's go unbox her. Okay, so here we have her in her plastic. She comes in headless. <laughs> oh, I forgot there's boobies. There's boobies. Okay, let's uh, get all this plastic off of her. Gee whiz. Oh, I hate underwear. I hate underwear. Underwear is just so hard to put back on. There she is, all assembled. This is a one-fifth scale figure by Q6 Liliana, and she is out there. Yeah, so let's start from head to bottom. So we have the horns here. Um, she's supposed to be like a little succubus. So she has a little um, horn thing going on, which is really nice. Um, one thing I really love is the hair. Now the hair has this nice slight metallic sheen to it. And it's a really nice color. It was sculpted pretty well. Um, so that's, I think that's what I like most about the figure. And most about Q6 in general is their uses of metallic. We have here her little collar, very cute. Her outfit, her tooties are very out there. The only thing I'm kind of like meh about, I didn't think it was going to be this dramatic of how small her head is and how big her boobs are. But I mean, I mean, I bought it, so I knew what I was expecting. So yeah, um, I do like the metallic in her outfit. You can see here with the pasties and the corset and the underwear. They have a slight and talk sheen as well. We have a nice pink tail in the shape of a heart. That's very cute. It's very nice for Valentine's Day. So if you want to buy your bae something, you know, sexy for Valentine's Day, this is a great choice for you. All right, so this next one, uh, her name is Nikki Minori, and I'm guessing, I don't know if she is like from hentai or not, but I just bought her because I thought she was cute, honestly. So here's the box, oh my god. Yep, so this is what we're looking at here. Okay, y'all, so this is a first for me, but she actually comes with a glass base. <laughs> am I right? Am I seeing this right? I have never seen that before. That is actually sort of cool. And here she is. Um, this is, wait, 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 there we go. Here she is. Um, this is from a company called A+. I have never bought from this brand before, but um, it's pretty good. It's not as good as Q6 or anything like that, but um, it's pretty decent. Um, so here we have her face. Um, which is kind of cute, and her um, hair sculpt is pretty good, not much to short hair. And then um, we have her um, jacket that's lifted up, and then there's a little bandeau that is covering her tata, so you can have that on or off. And then you can change which arms she has, so she can either have uh, one that's doing this little E.T. coming from home pose or there's also another one um, where it looks like a peace sign kind of so it's like yeah like that so it's up to you um, you know and I guess you can take off her underwear um, you would just have to pull her bot her entire like top off of her body off 
I don't really feel like doing that right now. Um, and then she has her pants pulled down, her panties pulled down, and then her Skechers. Um, I really like her. Um, she's not the best um, cultured figure I own. Um, I really do like the glass base. I think that's different. Hopefully it doesn't scratch up my details. But yeah, she's, she's cool. And now we have her assembled. Now she is a big girl, so like most of the binding one fourth bunnies, I just feel like there's way more bigger than um, my fring bunnies. I think most of the time the fring bunnies are standing up. Oh my God, her cootie cat is showing. Let me put on underwear. Okay, so I'm not just, the underwear is just really hard to get on, so. If you see Cooter Catter, then, um, sorry. So, what's really cool about this figure right here, um, it comes with a base, but it's like a mirror base, like you can see my camera and everything like that, which is really cool. Very unique base, um, it's for, you know, if you want to check yourself in the mirror, you know, check, check, check you know sometimes you just need to check yourself in the mirror it's not to you know look at the figure from other angles or anything it's just let's check yourself in the mirror you know now this figure um she looks way better i wasn't impressed with her first when i first unboxed her i wasn't really impressed with her face but she definitely looks way better with the actual bunny ears on of course um her, her face still doesn't really like I know it's so so. I pretty much bought this figure though for the body sculpt. I think the body sculpt looks very nice. I love the earrings too. She has little star earrings and a little flower in her hair. The hair sculpt um it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. Nice and flowy. We also have um a little corset she's wearing. She has two options. Whichever one you want to use, they have the full cups and have the, the cups falling down look. Or you can just display it without any cups at all. And then um, she has her leg, her leggings, no they're not leggings, her thigh highs. Overall I think she's a good figure, but if you're very critical about faces and stuff like that, she could be a little bit meh. That's it for that one. Alright, so our last figure is going to be Shion from Binding as well. Now this bunny... Oh my gosh, she looks amazing on camera and she's amazing on, in real life, but she does have a downside. So she's not very stable by herself in this pose. She actually kind of falls back. So you have to use this little base thing right here and put it under her bum and she'll be able to uh, sit back. But I, I love the color of her hair. Her hair is purple. Purple is my favorite color as well. And the bunny ears are pink, which is, I love it. I love how pastel everything is. It's super adorable. I love the little heart coochie part. This is a very good bunny if um, you're not really like into bunny figures or into I like not say forward figures. I would totally recommend something like this. Like you don't mind something a little bit, you know, risque, but. Yeah, I really love this bunny figure. She's not as big as Mirka. Mirka, I felt like she was humongous. But this one is a pretty good size. I can hold her with one arm, even though she is a one-fourth as well. But yeah, she's a very good figure. Hair sculpt looks good. The body set looks good. I love the hearts. I love the little shoes that have bunny ears on them. It's totally kawaii. Super kawaii. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. Again, if you're new here, please like, comment, on this, and subscribe. Please turn your notification bell on so you can know when I post my next video. Our question of the day is to cast on or to cast off. If you collect non-safe for work figures, you know what I'm talking about. Please let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.